At this moment, New York City currently has the worst air quality out of any other major city in the world due to Canadian wildfire smoke that has dominated the area. We have a rare and dangerous situation unfolding across the Northeast, particularly for areas like New York City. Not only does downtown Manhattan look like Mars due to that orange thick smoke that's overspreading the area from the Canadian wildfires in Ontario and Quebec, but it's also very unhealthy and the air quality has reached hazardous for all groups and it's a dangerous situation across New York City and out of any other major city in the world. As stated earlier, it is currently the most unhealthy. So let's talk about what is going on. So let's take a look at our near surface smoke density map here uh, from one of our models and take a look at this. We have an astounding plume of smoke up here across New York into Pennsylvania and New Jersey. That little tri-state area right there is being over overcompensated by a ton of smoke that is moving down from the south uh, from Ontario and Quebec here and this will just continue pushing southward as we go throughout the evening and overnight and we're still going to have a lot of smoke around across New England and the Mid-Atlantic as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Here's a look at the National Weather Service watch warning and advisory map and as you guys can see here all these gray colored regions which actually start in Michigan and Indiana and they go all the way up here into New England. These are air quality alerts. Uh, the air quality ranges anywhere from unhealthy to just for just sensitive groups all the way up to dangerous and hazardous once you get to areas like New York City. So uh, we have a big dangerous air quality event unfolding here from all that smoke in uh, New York, Pennsylvania and surrounding regions. So let's take a look at how that smoke plume is going to evolve. So every couple of hours here, you'll notice it gets really, really thick right across eastern Pennsylvania into Long Island. And that will remain the case as we go throughout the evening. It gets a little bit less dense on this model here as we go late into the overnight. And as we get into early tomorrow morning, you'll notice that it is loosening up a little bit across Manhattan and uh, you know fur further northward towards central New York. But it is still definitely present. We have very dense smoke all up down from northern Virginia into, into central New York and western Massachusetts here. And this is going to hang around as we go throughout the day tomorrow. As we backtrack that a little bit, let's just take this back into the overnight. You can also see a pretty thick smoke plume overspreading southern Michigan as well, which is why we have air quality alerts in effect over there. But the worst of it is definitely going to be here across the northeast. And New York City is going to catch the brunt of it. Already really has in many perspectives. Because here is the National Weather Service map as we zoom into uh, the New York City on office here again new york city you currently are under an air quality alert at a very maximum level uh, and then the surrounding areas here, like the surrounding marine waters here, it's going to be very difficult for people that are boating uh, to see in front of them. Uh, again, there's very, very dense, thick smoke in the area. So not only is it making the air quality really bad, but it is also making visibility very low. And so that's going to make it very tough for mariners. Like I said, if you take a look at the pictures from New York City, it looks like Mars right now. I was taking a look at the uh, picture from the Empire State Building and the sky is very braille, very orange, uh, very interesting thing that we have going on right now due to that thick smoke. But we do have some dense smoke advisories in effect across those marine waters around Long Island, areas like New Newark as well. It's going to be very, very smoky across those areas. So be on the lookout for that for sure. Let's get to the brunt of what we really need to talk about today, and that is the AQI, the Air Quality Index here. The reason why this is dangerous and not just an interesting event is because this amount of smoke is going to be very dangerous for anyone planning on being outside for a prolonged period of time. Typically, when we have an air quality alert in effect, we're taking a look at that unhealthy for sensitive group range, which means AQI a little bit over 100. It's It can be, you know, you could definitely have some health effects if you have asthma, if you're a, an older adult or if you're a child, you can have some outdoor health effects if you're out there for a long period of time. However, uh, the air quality is going to be far worse than that in some areas. Again, New York City currently has the worst air quality out of any other major city in the world right now. And that means that we have an air quality index over 300. There are some areas in New York City where we have a hazardous air quality right now. 
And as can be read here, that's on the very high end of the spectrum. That means that health warnings of emergency conditions, the entire population is more likely to be affected. So this means that New York City right now, if you step outside, it's not just people with asthma. It's not just the elderly or small children. Anybody in New York is susceptible to health problems if you step outside right now. Do not go outside. If you can avoid it, do not go outside. It is not worth it. Uh, you really want to reduce that to emergency situations if you can. Uh, reserve it for those emergency situations because right now it is simply too dangerous to go outside. Again, we range all the way from moderate to hazardous, and we've already far sped past unhealthy and very unhealthy. So we have hazardous and dangerous air quality across New York City right now. Uh, it, you make sure that you're staying tuned to uh, professional sources in the area. Uh, if you're told to not go outside, please follow those warnings to the best of your ability because it is dangerous air quality right now and you don't want to be caught outside in this very rare and interesting event across New York City. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this update. If you did enjoy it and you want to spread this information out to other people, be sure to drop a like on the video and be sure to share the video out to other people as well so we can get this message out. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys back here next time.